Hey there Cinemaniacs, I hope you're all doing well and absolutely fine. You know the transition from teenage to adulthood can be a particularly tricky one. Not to say because of the fact that we go through so many emotions and so many thoughts and so many, you know, different kind of bizarre incidents in our life that shape up, you know, into memories as adults. But of course, this is a transition that is worth living. There's one TV show that I've been particularly watching for a very, very long time now and even my sister joined me at certain point and even she enjoyed it a lot. This particular TV show comes from a time when the internet wasn't exactly a very big thing and nobody even knew of the fact that the internet was going to be such a big fad in the future. It comes from a time when people were normal people, when problems were real problems, not the problems that the media wants you to believe. Yes, today's video review or let's say video retrospective is going to be about Dawson's Creek, one of the best teen drama TV shows I might have ever seen and here is my opinions on it today. Dawson's Creek is a TV show that was created by Kevin Williamson who apparently happens to be from the Scream and the Faculty fame and uh, you know I have been a very huge fan of his work, a huge fan. I've seen the Scream movies, I've seen the Faculty, it was probably one of the coolest movies I've ever seen in my entire life but Dawson's Creek was a TV show that is completely a different animal altogether. You know the entire TV show basically revolves around the ideas of Joey Potter, Dawson Leary and Pacey Witter who are of course played by character, you know, actors such as Katie Holmes, James Van Der Beek and Joshua Jackson and of course were later joined by Kerr Smith and uh, Michelle Williams who play Jack McPhee and Jen Lindley. Of course they are their neighbours or something like that and the entire story revolves around these young kids who are basically growing up in a small fictional you know, town called Cape Side and eventually their stories move from Cape Side to Boston and LA. Dawson eventually comes back to Boston because you know his film career sort of bombs or something like that. The entire TV show is a testament in the idea that teenage problems are really very very big in the sense that it has dramatized a lot of things here and there of course you know sometimes I feel that uh, the teenagers are talking in a very hyper articulate manner something that most people don't do in real life and the situations that they're trying to show us are actually very sugar coated and uh, sometimes I don't even believe their authenticity but you know what's the best part about the TV show it does handle a lot of things very sensitively it does handle topics such as you know homosexuality very uh, sympathetically and I really agree with their subject on that of course it does handle a lot of other uh, you know subjects very well of course we have Pacey's character who apparently is one of the best boyfriends on screen and one of the best characters ever existing in the TV world of course Joshua Jackson's iconic portrayal of this you know class clown who was apparently lagging behind in his education but eventually ended up making a great career even though he barely passed out of high school don't attempt that in real life because you're not going to be successful <laughs> but somehow his character was one of the coolest characters in the entire tv show and there's no way paralleling him at some point i even feel that dawson's creek actually became pacey's pond and that is really true the six seasons of runtime that the entire TV show had, they shifted a lot of plot lines. They had this entire, you know, Dawson versus Pacey thing when Joey came into the middle. They had, uh, you know, a gay kid that is Jack being introduced into the middle. There was Jack's sister Andy who apparently fell in love with Pacey and they had their own relationship. The entire story moves on from Cape Side to, you know, Boston and eventually LA as well, where we see that Dawson, Joey and Pacey have not really grown up as much and I'll tell you that in the next section of the video. For most of the part, Dawson's Creek is a pretty enjoyable TV show. It does have a lot of, you know, film references here and there that are thrown in between. There are, uh, you know, huge episodes that are exactly resembling movies in their own ways. There's this episode called The Unusual Suspects, which happens to be a high school prank that Dawson and his friends pull off to basically implicate, uh, you know, Drew Valentine, another very, very handsome looking guy of that particular uh, generation. I'm straight and I'm not really going other ways. <laughs> Somehow, there are other episodes such as The All Nighter from, uh, you know, season two and episode seven. Season two was kind of like a mess. I do agree on that because there were a lot of storylines going tangentially parallel to each other. Of course, none of that even made sense, but season three did get the entire series back on track. And I do agree on the idea that the Joey Pacey, you know, Joey Pacey relationship and the Dawson Pacey Joey triangle was one of the finest things to ever exist on TV. Finest things to ever exist on TV. 
the fashion sense for most of the characters is absolutely cool. I'm some sort of a great fan of you know the 90s and 2000s clothing and uh, styling. I sort of think that it was very subtle, very real, and absolutely hip in its own way. And I kind of actually dress up that way sometimes. Believe me, my only sense of fashion comes from movies and TV shows of the 90s and the 2000s. I sort of connect with them a lot. I don't know why, but yeah, I do. The TV show does have its lots of you know flaws and shortcomings. Like I mentioned that the characters are absolutely hyper articulate. They talk in a way that normal teenagers are not supposed to talk. These are young teenage kids that are subjected to adult problems, something that we may not relate, and of course something that is way too bizarre to even believe. But yet, in spite of all the you know bizarre things happening around in the TV show, Dawson's Creek definitely is one of the coolest teen drama TV shows to ever exist. I'm wrapping up the video within the next two three sections. After that, you have the right to decide on what you think about this TV show. Now, Dawson's character is a particularly pretty debated one. In my opinion, I don't exactly think that Dawson was a very good character. He wasn't exactly a very good boyfriend, by any stretch of the truth. And Team Pacey. I'm actually with you this time because Pacey by far has to be one of the coolest and the most you know mature characters in the entire TV show. He's the only one that ever goes through some sort of a character arc transformation. Although we do see the idea that you know Jen's grandmother, that is Grams, as she's called in the entire TV show, she also does have some sort of a character arc transformation. Her entire relationship with Jennifer is not exactly a very good one to begin with. Her entire relationship with you know Dawson and company is not exactly a very good thing to begin with. But it all changes when Joey's you know nephew, that is Alexander, is born, and that is the entire moment where we get to see that Grams can be a very good person as well. Her character doesn't exactly get much of a mention in the entire TV show somehow because it wasn't exactly about her. She was just a recurring character in the TV show. Nonetheless, her character was one of the finest side characters I might have ever seen, of course. And uh, you know Dawson's father. I don't re exactly remember the actor's name, but his character kind of had an abrupt ending, something that didn't go well with me. And of course, you had uh, Meredith Monroe's character, that was Andy McPhee. You would be surprised to know that Andy was actually the eldest one in the entire you know teen group. She was the actress that was almost 10 years older than the actual uh, cast of the TV show. Yeah, she was almost nine years older than James Van Der Beek, 10 years older than you know. Joshua Jackson and Katie Holmes are almost four years older than Kerr Smith. Of course, it was something very bizarre to begin with because a 30 year old literally playing an 18 year old is not very, very acceptable in my opinion because somehow it looks weird and absolutely bizarre. But nonetheless, Dawson's Creek managed to convince me otherwise, and I'm still falling in love with this TV show more and more and more and more. So, if I was to summarize my entire review of Dawson's Creek and tell you what I feel about this TV show, it is absolutely cool. The music sense is fine. The movie references are spot on and I did really have to watch a lot of movies in order to understand what the characters are trying to imply and what the you know actors trying to say in the TV show want to actually say. Of course, it was a very very uh, you know cool experience for me. I do really think that another Dawson's Creek can never be made for this generation because social media has sort of changed the way we interact and I don't think that a lot of the episodes and a lot of the stories that Dawson's Creek was trying to say would actually be any relevant today. I don't really think that Dawson's Creek will actually be ever remade because of course even the actors have made it clear that today in the age of social media and the internet none of those episodes and none of those TV shows will ever work that good. But nonetheless I look at Dawson's Creek as a time capsule. It takes me to a time that I was never even born in and I can never physically see it until and unless they have time machines or something like that. I would definitely go back in time and catch an episode of Dawson's Creek on DVD or you know VHS or probably even watch it with some of my you know past friends if I could. <laughs> Bizarre philosophy but yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching my video up until this point if you have. Dawson's Creek is really one of my favorites and if in case you are also in love with it, do watch it after you you know see this review if you want to enjoy it have all those good memories come back enjoy the tv show and as i always keep telling you guys take care stay safe bye bye please keep buying films on physical media that's the best and the most amazing way to collect and preserve movies for long stay safe and back on the use